The number of people in Texas who are being screened for potential exposure to Ebola expanded Thursday to approximately 100. Four members of a family close to Thomas Eric Duncan, the Liberian man diagnosed with Ebola, were ordered to remain in their Dallas home. According to the Associated Press, a Dallas judge said the confinement order was imposed after the family failed to comply with a request not to leave the apartment. Armed guards are stationed outside to ensure that the family complies. They are not to receive any visitors until at least October 19th to pass the 21-day maximum incubation period for the disease. Officials said the 100 people being screened represent a very wide net, including some who possibly had brief encounters with Mr. Duncan. They expect that number to drop as they narrow the list to those actually at potential risk of infection. The public health search comes as authorities in Liberia grapple with how Mr. Duncan managed to leave their country and bring Ebola to the U.S. At Liberia's airport, passengers are asked to fill out questionnaires about whether they had been in contact with any Ebola victims. Mr. Duncan lied on those forms. Before traveling to Texas, he had escorted a woman to a treatment ward in Liberia's capital, Monrovia, where she was turned away and died of the virus within hours. According to the Associated Press, Liberia's government said Mr. Duncan would be prosecuted for the falsification if he returns to the country. Meanwhile, an American journalist working for NBC News has tested positive for Ebola while working in Liberia and is arranging to return to the U.S. The 33-year-old man is tentatively scheduled to be transported out of Monrovia on Sunday.